All right, we're going to do a, uh, a one sample t test in Google Sheets uh, using a couple different methods. First method is we are going to just calculate it using the formula. And the parts of the formula that we need are going to be uh, the x bar, the sample mean, sample standard deviation, sample size. So x bar is the sample mean, s is the sample standard deviation, and n is the sample size. Um, then we're going to calculate the uh, standard error. I'll call it just SE. And finally, the T statistic and then the P value. All right, sample mean is going to be found using the average function. I'm going to select all the median. I'm looking at whether the median listing price uh, on average is $200,000 for this county or for this region. So I'm going to select my median listing prices and get the average. Uh, and then I'm going to, I'm actually using the D6 to D34 range for all of this. So I'm going to calculate the standard deviation dot S, the sample standard deviation for the same range. And for the N, the sample size, I'm going to use the count function. I'm going to count this range. That'll give me 29. All right, let's calculate the standard error. Standard error is found by taking the standard deviation divided by the square root SQRT parenthesis of the sample size. The T statistic is found by taking in parentheses the sample mean 176820.55 minus the hypothesized mean of 200,000. I'm going to divide this by the standard error. That gives me the T statistic. All right, negative 1.33. The P value is found using the T dot dist dot 2T, the 2, 2T, two tailed. I'm going to select my T statistic. And the degrees of freedom is found by taking the sample size 29 minus 1. Now, I don't know if it's going to, I think this should be okay. Oop. It doesn't like having a negative uh, value for uh, the, the, the T statistic. So I'm going to include absolute value around this. Um, absolute value of my T statistic. Yep, that's what it needed. It needed me to give me the positive value uh, of the T statistic, the absolute value of it. And... Yeah, there we go. Uh, so this gives me the p-value, and this would, uh, in if my significance level was 0 0.05, which it often is, this would be considered not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Although there's variation, and the sample mean is lower than 200,000, uh, from the variation and everything, there's not enough evidence to conclude that the population mean isn't 200,000. It certainly well could be, and we could we could randomly sample counties and get data like this. So it's the null hypothesis is entirely plausible based on the data we have. All right, the second method, uh, what we're going to do is create a column called null mean, $200,000. And I'm going to let's see if I can paste this down the whole thing without it increasing. Yep. Now what I need, the other way to do a t-test is to create a, a kind of a, a, a helper column of all the same number. And what I'm going to do is t.test, select range one, which is my values, median listing price. Um, in fact, I don't think I want the, the header. Comma, range two, which is the, uh, the null mean. And then let's see, tails, I'm going to put two and the type is a yep okay so i'm going to use type 3 which is assuming unequal variances this gives me the p value um, uh, what i'm going to do is do this another way which is i'm going to use the excel minor analysis tool pack under add-ons, it can be found under uh, Excel Minor Analysis Toolpack. If you don't have it, click on Get Add-ons. You can search for Excel Minor Analysis Toolpack. You start this, and then it'll 
bring up um, a menu. I'm going to go down to the t-test to sample assuming unequal variances. This is a way for us to do this test. What I'm going to do for variable one range, select my median listing price um, and put these into the variable one range. For the variable two range, I already can see it. It's, an, it's the helper column. It's G5 for me to G34. Hypothesized mean difference. It's a hypothesized mean difference of zero, which is to say in my null hypothesis that the median listing price is exactly equal to 200,000. I want to select labels and the output range I'm going to put uh, right over here in K8 and select, click into the output range. It'll put K8 and click OK and see what we get. Uh, and so you can see what we're going to get then is uh, the exact same T statistic and the uh, the we get a we get critical values and also p values. Uh, the p value for the two tailed test is given. The p value for the one tailed test is also given. And there you go. Uh, that's in a way to do the t test in Google Sheets.